I'm now take you through the playback deck style functions of the Ninja. If I hit play, I'm now booting into playback mode. All of my files that are available are listed here. You can see the name of the unit, the scene, the shot, and the take number. I added a file from another Ninja called the D800 Ninja 2 Mornington Peninsula, which is south of Melbourne. And I recorded this with one of the original D800s that we received from Nikon. These are my playback functions. I have play and pause. When I pause, I've got an option to frame by frame scroll through the video, both directions. This allows me to choose my in and out point for my metadata tagging. I can also jump to the back of the start of the clip or to the end of the clip. When I hit play, I have fast forward, super fast forward, I have rewind and super rewind. These are very simple to use normal deck control functions. If I'd like to loop the video, this is my in point and my out point for my loop video playback function. I'm going to choose an in point here and an out point there. If I now hit loop and play, I will loop between those two in and out points. Perfect for presentations, perfect for showing the a scene or a shot to an actor or a client, a very versatile function. I can also take the overlay on and off. While I'm playing this back, everything I'm doing is being output in full 19, 20, 10, 80 HD out to a large monitor or to another recorder to record what I'm doing. If I take my loop function off, I can also check my focus peaking anywhere on the clip. I can see that I am in focus in this shot. I can check my exposure, my zebra and my false color. So I'm happy that this is a good shot. What I now want to do is use our smart log function to choose the in point for my favorite. This is a pre-edit function for either editors, directors or clients to indicate which part of the video they would like to highlight as a potential good shot within their production. That's my in point once I first touch favorite. I can then use all of these controls to then choose frame by frame my favorite. I'm happy that that's my favorite and I've just indicated a favorite here on the bottom of the screen on the timeline. That's a red, a green good shot. If I want to reject a shot, for example from here to the end of the clip, then I reject the shot and you can see my reject has been marked. If I'd like to clear the favorite and reject that I've just metadata tagged in the file, then I simply press the X flag here, which clears all of the favorites and rejects that I have already put onto the file. I'm going to create another two. Reject. There's my two favorite and rejects. Once I've marked all of my clips, I can go into any clip, mark my favorite and reject. Once I've marked all of my clips and I've done all of my pre-edits, then I simply export my final cut XML project, which I can then Remove the disk, 
pop into our docking station and edit immediately from the disk. The XML has all the details of all the edited clips on the drive. Keywords, metadata tagging is a very important function to reduce the cost and reduce the time of the post-production process. We can edit from a plane, we can edit from a restaurant, we can have the people that we've hired on the day input into the post-production process. We are now working on Avid export and Adobe export. These will be available within the coming months. The last feature I'd like to show you is the import of separate clips created in Final Cut or Compressor. I can bring any file into both Final Cut, Compressor, Final Cut 7 or Final Cut X, add those to the drive in any form and then hit play, scrub through and the Ninja and Samurai will play back those files as third party files. This is a new feature that we've added in Atom OS 3.0. When you import clips from Final Cut X, Final Cut 7 or Compressor, it's important that you record only 16-bit audio. 24-bit audio is currently not supported. We hope to support that in the near future.